You bought it? No, we're part of it. It's a, a member. Oh, it's a wife. You gonna do shots, mom? Mom, do a shots. Mom, do shots. Shots, shots of Jack. Jack, mom. mom. Shots. <laughs> <laughs> So lately Greg's been talking about fundamentals that are absolutely key and important in nail. And sometimes this can be looked at as like the boring stuff, the fundamentals and basics of anything that you do, whether it's business, whether it's nails, martial arts, it's all about those fundamentals, but specifically which ones? I wanted to ask Greg, what are the ones that he recommends that people really need to focus on to get their nails? Look, tis eyed. How you get your nails tizzite? Like, right. what are those fundamentals where that somebody can focus on to really get their nail game to that next level? I think the key is balance. Uh, that's number one. Okay. Because if you can't hold a brush yeah. or an electric file, um, if you can't work without shaking, and, and again, it's uh, a fundamental that has to be worked on constantly because when you're new to the game, you don't know how to do it, but there is proper fundamentals that are going to help you balance. Consistency, and what I mean by consistency uh, being the number two fundamental, it's, it, it can apply to anything. It can apply to acrylic, it can apply to gel, but you have to learn how to pick it up and set it down without it getting away from you. So there are really basic fundamentals that you have to work on uh, so that you can master the consistency of acrylic and gel basically overlaying. And so when you're talking about consistency of acrylic, you're talking about getting that right amount of liquid in the brush, yeah. like expelling the right amount and then putting the right pressure to pick up that right pearl, correct? That's exactly right because you're gonna be working with different size fingers, you're gonna be working with different shapes of nails, you're gonna be working with different lengths. All powder is not equal. Yeah. And what I mean by that is you're gonna have some powders that set fast, you're gonna have some powders that set slow, you're gonna have some color uh, that doesn't set fast, you're gonna have some glitter that does set, like so it depends on what powder, but once you understand how much liquid to load your brush with, it's the perfect balance between waiting, right, and letting oxygen take effect uh, before setting the pearl down, and then understanding how to use your brush. It's it's it, it's something that I talk about daily on live. On live, it's really one of the key fundamentals. Even with gel, you know, understand not just understanding how to pick it up and set it down. If you don't know how to set gel down correctly it's going to run all over the place and it's gonna get all over the place and it's not going to, you know, basically set the way you want it. Or you could put way too much, client sticks it inside the light, it gets really, really hot. There are ways to control the amount of product that you use so it's not only a great experience for yourself, but it's also a great experience for your client that you're working on. That's one thing that I remember when you've done some of the uh, the Pro Teachers Beginner with me, it's like, get that, once I got like the bounce, 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 it's kind of like when you do that dance, bro, and you're like, <laughs> you get that bounce going and you get the right amount, you pull it up, it is like victorious, bro. So that's huge, balancing huge. What about when you, when you, uh, what, are, what are a few other things? There was one you were talking about this morning, like that kind of deals with, with, with shaping, right? So let's say you get that down, you get the right amount of product, you learn how to pick it up, you learn how to set it down. From there, what's important? You have to have great fundamentals to finishing, and it's not just with how you hold the hand file, it's also how you hold the electric file, because there's two tools that you use when you finish correctly, your hand file and your electric file. Notice I don't call it a drill. There are incredible fundamentals so that you're able to use the whole surface of the hand file. And what I mean by that, right? It's not like you're doing this like picking process, there's a way to flow so that you're using the whole surface of the hand file. And there's fundamentals to setting up shape so that you have it basically shaped to perfection. Your electric file 
fundamentals are huge because once you understand the fundamentals, the strong fundamentals of electric filing, uh, you're not gonna, the electric file is not gonna get away from you. You're not gonna burn your client. Uh, and, you're, and, and you're going to be able to remove basically the bulk that you've built out so that it leads to the least amount of hand filing. Right? This in the long run is going to, the most important thing, it's gonna save your body. Yeah. And you know, for me, it's, it's, it's all about how you can create a long, healthy career in the nail industry, not, again, burn out and burn out your wrists, your shoulders, and your back. It's about proper ergonomics. So really great fundamentals to hand filing and electric filing. Finishing in general is going to set you up so that you can do advanced work because there's advanced skills when it comes to both techniques. But if you don't have the basics down, you're going to struggle. You've got to practice balance. You've got to practice proper consistency. You've got to understand finishing filing correctly so that you have a nice looking shaped nail, correct? Like you, so that you don't have like a chunky nail or like a funky looking chicken. I don't know why I said chicken. Funky chicken nail style. You want to have a nice looking nail ultimately. And these are kind of the ways to get there. Where can somebody learn? these fundamentals, where can they tune into to get this education? I go live every day at Young Nails Inc. Uh, that is our Instagram profile for the company. This is something I go live every day at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I do about a half hour. I cover all aspects, all of the fundamentals, and I do this repetitively. I do this every single day. Uh, we're also going to be hosting uh, a Zoom class. Uh, they're selling out quick. This is going to be a great way for me not just to communicate all the strengths uh, with the fundamentals that we teach, but I'm also going to be able to talk to you, answer your questions on a personal basis, and basically give you points and uh, tips and tricks that's going to help you guys improve your nail game for the future. Those are the ways that you can get the education. Also, don't forget, go to our YouTube channel, which you're on right now because you're watching this video, and look up Fundamentals Acrylic Young Nails. Dude, there's gonna be a ton of videos come up. Finally, dude, I just wanna, I think it's important, bro. It's done, bro. Look at that. What do you think? Okay. See that? Yeah. What do you think of that gun, bro? Weak sauce, bro. <laughs>